The title of this uh, exhibition is Face Fruits and uh, Leaves and Branches of Tree of Life. And I've been working on this theme for the last 20 years. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the time I've been uh, making these works in Japan where I lived and where I taught at a private university. But anyway, uh, with this theme, uh, I wanted to express the uh, unity of the whole universe and individuality, the uniqueness of each. Uh, so what this means, like uh, imagine you're, yourself looking at a huge, gigantic Christmas tree and I'm making parts of these, uh, this huge Christmas tree. And the, uh, the main uh, product of this tree of life are these face fruits, these faces that represent individual faces. I represents you, it represents me, and it represents uh, anybody who has lived and is living and will live in futures to come. The whole installation here is kind of uh, what uh, the harvest period of a tree of life and each of these individuals has matured and uh, is ready to be harvested. What are these uh, drawings here for? <clears throat> the drawings actually are, uh, gives out the, the uh, names and, uh, of each of these face fruits, uh, like uh, Asha, the Jamaican dancer, Thomas McEnroe, New England transcendentalist. And, you know, so you can identify each of these uh, face fruits with a name and what they are. A lot of people ask me what they are made of. First, the branches are uh, branches of uh, ginkgo wood uh, tree, which my father planted in my yard uh, 30 years ago, and now it's ready to be cut down, and I cut it down and uh, use it for the sculpture. The, uh, the face parts is uh, made of uh, sort of material that I ended up making. Uh, it's made out of uh, cotton fabric, and uh, glue. I tear off the uh, fabric and I tear them apart and then uh, mix it with a uh, wood glue. And I make initially an armature out of a wire and I, uh, like a clay, I would uh, stuff it in and uh, build around it and let it dry. And periodically I would uh, uh, model in bit by bit. Leaves, yeah, leaves, uh, each of these leaves have a patterns of uh, various living things. And uh, these are cotton yarns I make, basically, to make, a, make an outline of these uh, uh, creature, uh, creatures. I, you know, get these uh, 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 pictures of uh, animals from the reference book, and I draw it on and cut it off and make these patterns. In fact, here, I, in this drawing, I've uh, uh, drawn various uh, creatures that I have used on these leaves and their names. The, uh, the face is coming out of the branch of the tree in various positions. That's about it. <laughs> You know, uh, why, why is it that you uh, brought this, uh, what's the idea about scattering, scattering? Well, uh, initially, uh, because uh, there were so many uh, what, uh, performances and Christmas party and things like that, I had most of these, uh, this uh, particular ground installation in this area, in the uh, corner. But uh, now that they're over, I wanted to expand it more, and I wanted to install it in such a way that the pieces, although they're different from the, uh, this part of the show, I thought it might be good and interesting to make it as though it's part of the whole thing. Part of the, you know, this, the branches coming off, and during the harvest time, all these branches and leaves and uh, face roots would fall down, and that's sort of a feeling. And so when people walk in here, they would feel like they're part of the whole, uh, uh, what the whole. With the composition of this version of the installation, I wanted, like I said, to be more expansive. And, but so I 
what I thought was having a main piece along the center area and two or three other uh, pieces, you know, this part and the other parts, mm -hmm. so that it would carry out and look as though it would go on and on, you know, without the limited limitation. And that also is the reason why I have these little branches sticking out, almost like an accident, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, get more, uh, you know, the feeling that it's part of the whole, this uh, wall installation, wall uh, exhibition is also part of the whole installation. And uh, along, I made it more uh, longitud longitudinal uh, this way, in this composition, whereas with the previous composition I had a more py pyramid type of shape. But so that, uh, you know, I extend it this way, and in this area, I want to show the leaves part of the uh, pieces more, so people can see the leaves, the various patterns in leaves. And in the center, I've uh, placed more face fruits. So this is area there, would be the... Is there a pattern uh, over here, on the other side of this? Uh, there is, but uh, I think... This would be the back side of the leaf, and this would be the front. This is a squid. Is, squid. Yeah. Hiding. Yeah, hiding. And so each one of these, I think this uh, back side and the front side, and the front side would uh, have the pattern of uh, animals. Uh, uh, like this one would be a puffin. Puffin. Mm -hmm. And this would be a, a type of whale. And uh, along this area, I... Yeah, and this uh, end area, I wanted to emphasize the branches, so I, uh, you know, had mostly branches along this area, mm -hmm. branches of uh, ginkgo wood. The more I have it out in the sun, the darker it gets. So I uh, left it for a few months out in the sun. Yeah. 